everyone Sophia here for my great challenge so welcome back to my channel this is uh, episode 15 in my master bedroom makeover I am still working on the bookcase uh, it's Saturday February 26 2022 and it's two o'clock in the afternoon I'm starting really late uh, we had a busy morning today um, between the trips to Home Depot supermarket kid stuff um, you name it but anyway I'm ready to go um, today I'm going to do about four hours worth of work because I want to um, relax after that and then tomorrow if all goes well I may finish it by tomorrow at least the whole structure and then it's just a decorative trim so we'll see anyway um, I am sipping a roasted dandelion tea in ginger water and I gotta tell you it tastes just like coffee <laughs> And uh, I'm enjoying this. This is actually very good. So, um, neither here nor there. Okay, what am I doing today? I'm going to do the side panel here and definitely the bottom panel, uh, which is going to be the base of the shelf. I'm still on the fence as to how I'm going to do the corner. Um, I may just do one bar and then, uh, well, no, I, I know how I'm going to do it. I'm getting bars of wood that are about um, one by one, something like that. I'm going to use them as nailers. So they're going to be holding them in the back and then they will be held on the side here. So in the middle, I think I'm just going to put a shelf in diagonal. Um, so what I will do is that they will separate the bookcase walls, which is fine. Um, but I'm not there yet. Okay, let's get started. Um, I did get the right size wood and one sheet of wood four by eight uh, gave me all the pieces that I needed. The only difference is that I couldn't get the corner L shape. So what I'm gonna do is um, mitered, uh, mitered corner. And that's the reason why I need those pieces of wood in between. Um, and that's okay because it will separate the two bookcases instead of having a continuous thing because what am I going to put in the corner really? Um, anyway, let's get started. So, uh, this was the most important piece uh, that needs to be 79 and I can see that it's a little bit off because of the angle let me see where it goes over there uh, so I'm gonna cut it at an angle I don't think I need to remove too much but now I know how to do the angles I do remember Scott showed me how to do that. So let me get my saw and I just need to snip the edge at an angle and we'll see how that goes. So once that's on, then I'll work with the bottom. Okay, not gonna lie, I think I cut a little bit too much. <laughs> Let's see. It's perfect. Are you kidding me? Holy smokes. Hey, listen, it's pure luck, okay? Absolute luck, because I, I didn't even measure the angle. I have no idea how to do it. But look at this. Okay, so now I'm gonna secure it at the bottom. Um, by the way, don't worry about the uh, screw showing on the outside. Because once I have the new carpeting, there's going to be a trim right here and on the other side too. Same thing at the bottom of the uh, closet. Hence the reason why I'm not too concerned with whether or not the bottom of the closet is nicely um, smoothed out because it's hidden. All right, let's go. <laughs> That was pretty cool. Did you see how it moved? <laughs> okay, by the way, these are uh, screws that are special for this kind of project. Um, they're much easier 
they are much easier than the screws I used last week. The only difference is that the only difference is that they are star bit and I hate those. It comes with its own bit, which is fine. The problem is that I always, always lose it. Okay, let's do another one. Here's my uh, plum on this side, and here's the plum on um, the spine. So, yep, pretty good. So the next step is for me to install these guys. Um, I have nine of them. They're going to be the support for the shells on the back. But I also want to put them here in the front uh, because they're going to be... Um, the nailers for the trim okay initially I wanted to put wood like a whole piece of wood right here uh, same width than this and then I decided why bother you know because it's gonna get painted anyway you're not gonna see it and this is gonna be just hidden behind so um, I have to measure they don't have to meet perfectly on the other side like at the joint because it's getting covered anyway. Um, so let me get my centimeter. Hmm. And I'm trying to work away from the uh, glare here, but it is what it is. The sun is right on the uh, uh, window. So um, I do have to angle it though, that I know. So it's going to be, and it doesn't even have to be the full, you know what? I don't need to angle it. It doesn't have to be the full length. I just need a piece that is about, uh, 35. We're gonna do 36. Uh, I need a piece that's about 36. And then the piece that goes here, again, they don't have to meet and they don't have to be, um, you know, angle 31. So one that's 36 and one that's 31. Now, if you remember when I did the closet, uh, I realized that I was a half an inch off from one side of the closet to the other. Um, because the walls are not straight, but I really need this to be straight because otherwise the uh, shelves will have to be cut. They can't be straight, basically. They'll have to be cut slightly at an angle. So I have a piece here that's the same width than this. Or just about. It's a little bit too much. I'm going to take this instead. And what I'm doing here is that I'm marking the width of this shelf. And then I'm going to cut this and I'm going to use this like this. And each time I reach the edge, I'm going to mark like this here and here. And that's going to allow me to keep the same length um, throughout without having it to be wonky. Am I making sense? I have a feeling this is getting really complicated, but it's not. It really is not. So let me cut this piece here because that's exactly uh, the 26 and a half. No, 28 we said. I can't remember. 11 inches. <music>
other side is on a slant. So if I put this here, <clears throat> it's no good. It would have to have this kind of angle for it to come down straight. Oh, if only if I might or so. This is too small of a piece to use that big saw on. I have to find a piece of wood that's a little bit wider, so that way I can cut the angle on it. I shall find something. Okay. Oh, right here. <clears throat> Alright, so this is a little bit wider. So I can have a grip on it, but it's obviously way too big. So we're gonna cut it here. And then I'll do the angle. And we'll see how that goes. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure they sell them with that angle. So what I'm gonna do when I go to Home Depot next week, because this is really like the trim for the decor. I have to worry about that right now. Uh, I'm glad I installed this one to see how difficult it would be. Um, but what I'll do is look for the one that's already angled. And then I'll install that instead um, of trying to figure out how I'm going to get that angle, which may or may not be perfect, um, on a piece of wood that's kind of thin. Because the thing is, if it's not the right angle, then my trim won't sit right. So I'd rather have the right angle cut by somebody. I, again, I wish I had a miter saw, but I don't So, All right, I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the bottom shelf. Okay, uh, I hope you can see. All right, so what I did was cut, well, I had the guy at the Home Depot cut the shelves to the size that I needed. Uh, so here's one. However, I need to cut the angle, all right? So, um, and the wall is not straight, how about that? The shelf is, but the wall is not straight. Um, this needs to be cut at an angle like this for the next shelf to come in. This is the length of the shelf or the width and it's the same one for the other shelf so what i'm doing is that i'm putting this one here like this and i'm marking where it stops and it's telling me where the beginning of the angle is then all i gotta do uh hopefully i have a long piece is take a piece that goes from this angle here to this one right here and mark the line because I'm not guaranteed this is a, a 45 degree okay the walls are not straight all right so this gets cut here and then the next uh, shelf I'll do the same thing And if by any chance I have gaps, well, putty. Okay. This goes here. All right. So the other one is much shorter. Let me remove these plugs for now. The other one goes this way. See that? Okay, so now what I gotta do again is mark where this ends and it's gotta meet over there. Okay, and all right, this one. 
there's a little bit tiny tiny bit of a gap uh, let me show you that can be easily um, can you see it all right this tiny bit of a gap here that's not a problem that can be easily um, puttied okay let me screw those in and then I have to figure out how I'm going to do the other ones. So for the other ones, I'm thinking about using pieces like this. Cut to size and have uh, one in the front. I don't even think I need one in the back. Um, to hold the front and the back of the shelf. Because I'm going to have those here to hold the shelves. So I won't need it in the back, but I'll definitely need one in the front, but it'll have to be cut exactly to size. And what's going to happen is that it will leave the whole thing open here um, in the back, which could be a problem with books. So I'll probably put like a decorative item um, or something. Anyway, all right, let me screw them in. Hey, you remember the other day I was looking for a name? I think it's countersinker. Um, so I put one here. <laughs> Kind of sink on their own, which is perfect. So I just have to put putty. Okay, let's put one in the back. Do I need to? I don't know. I don't think I need to put one in the back. All right, I'll do it. Yeah, I can sit on this now. <laughs> the first shelf I want it to be tall for tall books and I have the problem of this uh, plug so do I want the plug to be under the shelf or above the shelf? I want it under the shelf because that way when you pass by you don't see it. And this plug is really going to be here for, um, I don't even need it for the vacuum because I have one over there. Well, actually I should have two. I have three, four. Uh, on the balcony, there's two. There's two for the TV. And I think there's one behind the bed. So this one, eh, don't really need it, but you never know. Um, for tools, purposes, vacuum, whatever. Okay, so, and I will write on the wall because that's getting painted, so I don't care. So the first one is gonna be pretty much um, here, but it needs to be level. Ledger will go right here. And I'm not going to drill near this area here. I looked, the cables go down. Um, they're not in the wall going, you know, sideways or whatever. So I won't drill here. I'll drill on the side here. So that's one. Um, And then this one that goes here, I'll measure later. Okay, so how long is this? 34 and 3 quarter. All right, so one shelf, two shelves, three shelves. Let me get a book. Because it'll be a shame if I work all of this and then no book fits. That won't fit. That won't fit. 
doesn't fit. All right, so this is the thickness. This is a book, and we're gonna count one more. So the next shelf. Did I do that? <laughs> you don't mind me, right? Don't mind me. So one shelf, two shelf, three shelves. How about I just do the first one and then we'll figure it out, okay? I know that the first one is going to have to be right here, so it's going to be a tall shelf. I think it's time for me to get a better battery for this camera um, because I just ran out. And while I was charging, I did all of the ledgers except this one for this shelf. Okay, so I'm installing this one right now, and then I'm ready to install the shelf. Uh, we're going to have the same problem with the angle. Okay. I have the same problem with the angle, and uh, I have to figure out how I'm going to hold it in the front. That's not good. We didn't want that. Oh. Beautiful. All right, so let's see how not straight those walls are. There's a gap here that's not over there. What am I gonna do, huh? It's an old house. Okay, and this one goes here. Huh. All right, so I'm going to screw them in and I'm gonna see whether or not I need a support here. I may not. Okay, if I do, I'll get one of these and it'll go like that. I don't know if I'm going to need a support. This may be enough. Um, all right, so what kind of screws do I use? And should I do it straight like this or should I do it... I gotta think about that. Do I want to do it straight? Or do I want to do it um, what you can call it? Toenail. I'm gonna toenail it. I tell you who's going to love the shelves is the cat. Oh boy, she's going to love it. is pretty sturdy uh, there's a little bit of movement here and what I'm gonna do is underneath is just put a little metal bracket just to hold them together otherwise not moving uh, really really cool I don't have to do anything here I'm gonna have floating shelves I think that I'm going to build um, 
I think I'm going to build like a cubby for the cat. Wouldn't it be great with like an opening? Um, and then have the blankets in it and whatever, but on the trap door, I'm dreaming. I ain't got time for that. She sleeps on my bed anyway. Uh, okay, so this is good. I could even put the little bracket right here since I'm gonna have the uh, molding over it anyway. But you see, I still have a little bit of a gap. Not much. Once it's uh, secured and caulked and all of that, you won't see it. But yeah. Do I have a book? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, wait. We gotta see if it's leveled. Can you see my bubble? I'm perfectly leveled. Yes. Yay! So guess who's missing uh, a piece of wood. I know the light is different. It's dark outside. It's almost six o'clock, all right? I'm almost at four hours. Uh, I have enough for this shelf and this shelf. I have enough for this shelf, but I don't have this one. It is what it is. Okay, so this one is going to get cut. You can't see what I'm doing. Really what I'm doing is cutting the first one and then I'm putting it back on and I'm using its print to cut the other one. So it doesn't have to be like super science, you know what I mean? All right, so let me cut the, uh, let me cut this. I have a good mood today. You know why I'm in a good mood? I haven't had carbs and sugar for two days. Oh, oh no caffeine. No carbs, no sugar, no caffeine. Um, I feel good. These uh, split right here, the two of them. They were too short. Sorry. Party will take care of it. All right, let me cut this and then I'll show you how I put it back and cut the print for this one. Okay, so this is what I do, right? Once I have it cut at the angle that I want, I put it right back on top of the other one. Like this. And then I marked this one, and this is where I'm cutting that one. All right, so this one goes here. All right. And this one. And they do match. Alright. I know there's a little bit of a gap. I don't know if you can see it. It's minimal. So what I'm gonna do, since this one doesn't stay, I'm gonna take it out. And I'm gonna start screwing in this one. Let me see something first. It's perfect. Okay, well it's 6 of 3 and I'm done, alright? I said I was going to work for 4 hours and I did. I'm missing a piece of wood for here and then I think I have enough, I'm sorry if I'm losing focus, uh, in the garage for the two that go here and then just want to show you what the trim is going to look like and it's perfectly flush in that. It's perfectly flush, so that little system worked. And then this one here is going to look like this. However, you see how this is not straight? 
so I'm gonna have it's not a big length so we should be all right if I do it here and then it's gonna go here as well and here all right so it's gonna really finish the whole thing I may not put the roses um, we'll see but I wanted to show you something else and I will put um, little bracket metal brackets here to hold these together but otherwise it's not gonna go anywhere um, you know I mean that you don't want to climb on them um, but the books are gonna go towards the back anyway all right hold on I'm gonna show you something else I have a ton of those and <laughs> they are the negative of each shelf and guess what I'm gonna put one right here you can't really see it from where I'm at but I think that a drooping plant uh, would look beautiful right here I can't put any more because I have the door here so just one on top um, Anyway, let me put myself together, like brush my hair, you know, look presentable, and say goodbye. I bet you want to see it from far away, right? All right, so here's the closet, right? And this is the bookcase. And the bottom, remember, will be covered. I'm pretty happy with this. Just saying. Yay! <laughs> so, oh, uh, bookshelf. <laughs> Um, these are a little high <laughs> and so I don't know if I'm going to find baskets um, that would fit but but I could build doors I could do um, doors with the same handle I don't know if I have time it's not that I, I, I don't want to do it um, I, I, I gotta see it when it's well I can do the doors I just realized I got the outlet um now I'll find baskets bins you know like tall bins but they gotta be uh, I could make them actually in wood oh that's what I'll do I could do that I do want to do something for the cat though um it's not a lot of space but she sleeps in that Rosenthal uh, basket and it's the same with so who knows I think it'd be cool to have an integrated uh, cat basket she'll never use it <laughs> but anyway so this is done um, tomorrow I gotta go back to the Home Depot and get well I'll see what I got in the garage first it may not be the same wood but once it's sanded and painted you don't really see it and then I gotta figure out um, how I'm going to compartmentalize. I may do one here, uh, one here, and then since one is here, I may do one here, and then one over here. I don't know. I got to see. I'm, I'm trying to do something different, um, but I think it's going to look really cool with the corner shelf, and then once I have all the trim, uh, don't worry about the screws not all the way in, because I'm putting a molding right here. That's going to be, um, that's something that I should have done in the office. Uh, it's going to be decorative. So on areas of the shelves where I don't have books, you will have a decorative uh, molding there. Um, so it's, it will hide the screws. It will be decorative when there's no book. And then when you bring books, it actually brings them forward a little bit. It's not going to be too much, like maybe one inch. Um, so all white and the back will be blue, uh, the same blue that's on the other side that I'll paint on the other side of the room. So I may be done by tomorrow. Uh, I don't have enough of this. I don't think I have enough of this. No, I don't. So looks like I got another trip to Home Depot tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so you tell me what you think. Somebody mentioned that I should have just, uh, somebody mentioned I should just do them one going this way and one going that way. 
uh, I think that if I do that, there'll be an even more bigger issue with regards to holding them there. But once I've put the little bracket underneath, they won't show. So anyway, so that's it. I got a headache. Uh, Scott's been running a fire in the fireplace and then the lack of air <laughs> is very um, obvious. Up here, I had to open a window. I was getting a headache. Um, you guys tell me down below what do you think of this corner bookcase. Um, thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner. And you can check me out at my great challenge on Facebook and Instagram. And what else? I have uh, Frenchie and Tubby on Etsy where you can find vintage finds. Um, I just shipped a whole bunch of stuff uh, this morning. And then my great challenge gift on Etsy for t-shirts and mugs with this face on it and aprons and all of this stuff. Okay, so I will see you next time. I'll try to finish it tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be Friday for you. Um, so that's it. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.